Welcome back to the Edgewater Avenue YouTube channel everyone. Today we're going to be making another one piece and this one is called the Brook One Piece. For materials you will need one yard of swimwear fabric, quarter inch rubber swimwear elastic, scissors or a rotary cutter, a seam ripper, a loop turner, an acrylic ruler, and the pattern for the Brook One Piece. So first we're going to cut our pieces and you're going to cut two in the front piece and two in the back piece. You're also going to cut two straps and the measurements for those straps are provided inside the pattern. Next, match right sides together and sew the leg holes and the top line for both the front and the back piece. At this step, you're also going to sew the straps in half with right sides together and on all these areas, you're going to go ahead and attach elastic. Using a loop turner, turn each of the straps to the right side. Next, we're going to seam rip where we want our straps to go on the front as well as the back piece. So I'm going to mark where I'd like them to go and then seam rip a hole to fit each strap. So now I'm going to take the straps and I'm going to insert them into the strap openings that I had on the back piece. Once you've inserted them inside, you're going to pin and sew them down. Now take the back piece all the way to the right side. Insert the back piece inside of the front piece and sew the sides as well as the gusset. While you're sewing, you will be sewing across all four layers of fabric. If you struggle with this part, it might be worth straight stitching it first and then you can go back with an overlocker. Now we need to take everything to the right side. So I'm going to seam rip a hole kind of in the armpit area and I'm going to make this hole about one inch. Once you've seam ripped the hole, take everything back to the right side. The final step is inserting the straps into the front part of the top. And since we've already seam ripped our strap openings, we can just stick those straps in and then sew them down through the hole that we just ripped earlier. So once those straps are attached to the front, we're all done. You just need to finish off that hole either with an invisible stitch or a top stitch. And here is the final result. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you like the Brook One Piece, please go check it out at edgewateravenue.com. Be sure to check us out on Instagram. And if you're interested, join our Facebook group. Thank you for watching this video. I've had a lot of fun making them for you. And I'll see you next time.